Welcome to Coding Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to build this game, Leap Over the Frog. First, let's look at how we play it. The player controls the cat by pressing the space key to make the cat jump. The aim of the game is to avoid the frog for as long as you can. If you touch the frog, it is game over. Otherwise, you can play the game forever. Now, let's build the game. There are four parts to the game. One, the game backdrop. Two, the cat. Three, the frog. And four, game over. I will build this game one step at a time. First, let's start with a brand new project by clicking on the Create button on the home page. As you can see, a new project starts with the cat sprite as a default. The sprite is a character or object that we use in making the computer program. For step one, let's add the backdrop by clicking on the miniature backdrop icon on the bottom left of the screen. Then, scroll down until you find a backdrop that you like. You may choose to use a different backdrop to me. Double click on the backdrop that you have selected or click on the backdrop, then click the OK button. For step two, let's program the cat so that it jumps when we press the space key. Click on the cat sprite and then click on the scripts tab at the top center. To activate the cat when we press the space key, we will need an events block. In the event block category, we can find a block that says when space key pressed. Let's drag this block into the workspace. To make the cat jump, we need to get the cat to start at the bottom of the screen, then glide upwards, then glide downwards back to its original position. Let's locate the cat in a position at the bottom of the screen using a go to block, which you can find under motion. For example, at x equals 0 and y equals minus 60. Let's use two glide blocks, one to glide upwards to x equals 0 and y equals 150, and then the second glide block to return to x equals 0 and y equals minus 60. Now I'm at step 3. I will select a new sprite from the sprite library. I'll select the frog sprite. I want the frog to start at the right side of the screen, glide to the left, stop, start again at the right side of the screen and repeat until game over. First, let's program the frog to start at the right side of the screen. I'll use the go to block to do that with the coordinates of x equals 270 and y equals minus 80. You can find the go to block under the motion category. With this one block in the workspace by itself, if you click on the block, the code runs. So, move the frog to the top of the screen, then click on the block to see it work. We want the Scratch program to activate this code at the start of the game. We start the game by clicking on the green flag. Let's find an events block that does just that. Here is the When Green Flag Clicked block. We stack this When Green Flag Clicked block on top of the Go To block, like Lego bricks. Now, let's move the frog to the top of the screen and then click on the green flag. It works. Now I want the frog to glide to the left side of the screen. So I'll go to the motion category and drag over the glide block and stick it under the go to block. I want the frog to glide to the left. The leftmost point on the stage is an x coordinate of negative 240. So I'll make the coordinates on the glide block x equals minus 240 and y equals minus 80. Let's click on the green flag and test the code. It works! Now, we want the frog to do this forever. Let's grab the forever block, which I can find in controls. Hover the forever block over the go to and glide blocks, so that it looks like the forever block is about to eat the two motion blocks. Then let go. Let's click on the green flag and test the code. It works! Have a look at your frog. Is it too fast or too slow? How will you go playing with it? What can you do to slow it down? There are two ways you can tweak the frog's movement. Change the number of seconds in the glide block and you can add a weight block which you can find in controls. You can see that when the frog and the cat touch, nothing happens. So now I will code up the game over part of the game. First, let's click on the miniature of the backdrop brick wall. 
Then click on the Backdrop tab at the top centre of the screen. Delete the blank backdrop. Duplicate the brick wall backdrop or the backdrop you selected. Add text by clicking on the text icon which looks like a letter T. Type Game Over over the backdrop. Rename the backdrop from Brick Wall to Game Over. Now we need to go back to the cat to add the code to trigger Game Over. What we want to happen is when the cat touches the frog, the backdrop changes to the Game Over backdrop and the scripts stop running. We do this by getting an IF block and a TOUCHING block. We put the TOUCHING block into the gap in the IF block. We click on the drop-down menu and select FROG. So now the codes say, IF TOUCHING FROG THEN. When this happens, we want to change the backdrop and stop the scripts. We go to the Looks category and pick the Switch Backdrop block and place it into the IF block. We click on the drop down menu and make sure that we have selected the Game Over backdrop. Next, we go to Controls to get the Stop All block to stop the scripts at Game Over. Let's click on the green flag. Hmm. Why isn't the game switching to game over when the cat touches the frog? Let's look at the script. When green flag clicked, we are checking to see if the cat is touching the frog. But when do we want to check this? We actually want to check if the cat is touching the frog all the time. We want the program to do this check forever. So let's put all of this in a forever block, which we can find in control. Now let's click on the green flag to test our game. Great. It works. Add your own features to personalise the game. Perhaps add a score or number of lives or a timer.